Hello and welcome to the Harmonicon Project. Triads, or three note chords, are essential to understanding chord construction, and this video examines four types major, minor, augmented, and diminished. Triads are constructed of a root and two intervals, most commonly a third and a fifth. Any note can be designated as the root, but we'll use the note C throughout this demonstration. When making chords on the harmonicon, the first note selected is designated as the root, which is typically, but not always, the lowest note in a chord. Let's begin by constructing a major triad. First I'll select C for the root, and then E natural for the major third. When constructing most chords, the first and closest interval to the root establishes the chord quality, which is just another word for type. Major chords always begin with a major third. Now I'll add another interval. With C as the root, I'll add G natural to make a perfect fifth. When we merge these two intervals, the result is a C major triad. The interval construction for a major triad is included in the description, root, third, fifth. Triads are always represented as triangles on the harmonicon. Unused notes are minimized, and the colored lines and arcs indicate the various intervals that make up the chords. You can also see, and hopefully hear, that the harmonicon adds an octave above the root to complete the triangle and to facilitate the ascending and descending arpeggios. The octave is generally not included when the full chord is notated or played. Now let's make a minor triad. First I'll select C for the root, and then E flat for the minor third. Here we use E flat, as opposed to its enharmonic D sharp, because a minor third is just a major third that has been flattened or lowered by one semitone. Now I'll add G natural for the perfect fifth. Together these two intervals produce the C minor triad. The interval construction for a minor triad is root, flat 3, 5. As you can see, the only difference between major and minor triads is the interval that determines quality. The major third for the major triad, and the minor third for the minor triad. Now let's make an augmented triad, which is like a major triad, except the fifth is raised by one semitone. I'll continue to use the root C and E natural for the major third. Now I'll add the G sharp. The G sharp is a minor sixth, but in this context the interval is called augmented fifth because the perfect fifth has been sharpened. These two intervals combine to produce a C augmented triad. The interval construction for the augmented triad is root 3 sharp 5. Now let's make a diminished triad, which is like a minor triad except the fifth is lowered by one semitone. I'll again use C for the root and E flat to create the minor third. Now I'll add the G flat. Which is a tritone, or in this context a diminished fifth or flat five, because the perfect fifth has been flattened. Together these two intervals make a C diminished triad. The interval construction for the diminished triad is root, flat 3, flat 5. These and other basic triads are available in the Learn menu under Chords. I recommend that you make some triads on the harmonicon 
by making two intervals with the same root and then merging them to create the triad. Until next time, have a great day.